I was thrifting and bought the cutest grandfather clock. Well, it was missing the actual clock part. It's only $25 and I fell in love with it. So I went to the store and bought a replacement clock kit. When we got the clock home, I was so excited to find the missing wood scroll on the back of the clock. We fixed some broken pieces with screws and glue, then filled the screw holes and other damaged areas with wood filler. Then I cleaned the clock. I mixed TSP and hot water and used a rag to clean the surface and remove any dirt and grime that'll make for a bad paint job. Since the finish was a smooth veneer, I primed. I used one coat of slick stick. I let that dry before continuing to paint. This will make it so the paint will adhere to the clock without sanding. Once the primer was dry, I was excited to add color. I painted the clock with two coats of paint. I used Beloved Pink by Bear, makes 50% lighter. I removed the drawer for the clock in the hidden storage and painted those separately so they didn't stick to the clock while painting. On the glass drawer, I didn't worry about getting paint on the glass. Once it dried, I just used a razor blade to remove any excess paint. Finally, it was time to work on the face of the clock. I thought it would be fun to do a color well, so I divided the clock into 12 equal pieces, then I carefully painted each of the triangular pieces a different color. I created a pastel rainbow color well and love the soft colors all together. Then the clock kit was used to make the clock actually work. The new face was put into place and we now have a working clock. This was a really fun project because it took a discarded item and gave it new life. The bones on this piece were beautiful and it was really gratifying to make it pretty once again. Plus, I don't have to feel bad about ruining a vintage clock since this one was so damaged. I love it now.